Oh, there's... Are those spider tracks? They are. However, we don't, we, have a way to, we don't have a way to get up there yet. Do we have anything that can break that? I think. No. Uh, yeah. Not not at this time. We're missing a, a crucial upgrade. But you can look through and uh, you can see in the cracks. That it's looks like a pattern like, on the floor. That looks like a sloped surface. It Oops, does. Excuse me. Anyway, white doors, so we can't go there. However, we can get some Chozo lore. Philosophy. So, their planet was dying so they fell asleep. Their planet's dying from the, the Phazon in the meteor that impacted the the planet. So they are essentially saying that the planet is doomed and there's not much that we can do to fix it. All we can do is try to contain it. Makes sense. So this I stuff's guess they, super dangerous, huh? Yes, it is. They eventually left this planet entirely. But some of the uh, the Chozo that died on here are unable to find restful peace because their minds are corrupted by the 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 phase on in the planet. Hmm. So it does things to your brain and your body. Well, they are a very spiritual species. There's a whole bunch of lore right here. Um, I will briefly flip through a little of it, but I'm not going to really read it, so if anybody wants to read it, just sort of pause the videos and stuff like that as we go. Um, but yeah, so basically they, they, they just, they live here in harmony with nature, so much so that they essentially become like part of nature. And so when the planet suffers, they also suffer. Okay. Yeah. They're really like, weird. No, humans do that too. Yeah. <laughs> but these guys do it, I would say, to a more, um, yeah. more of an extreme. Yeah, that, like, that have you seen how much global warming's messing us up? Well, yes. Yeah. But it's like, yeah. the state of the planet affects the state of their mind and soul, essentially. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it, it's a bit deeper than, hey, global warming's bad and kind of messes us up. Yeah. I think uh, the last two of these, maybe the first because I didn't see it exactly, but the last two of these talk about uh, Samus... And her... Yeah, I think it was the second one actually talking about a newborn. Yeah, both of them, hatchling and newborn and stuff like that, talk about the um uh her coming to this planet to take care of the 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 great poison and the worm is what they refer to as something that's living inside the meteor. Well we did fix the poison eventually. That's true. But yeah, so they they were talking about that. Anyways, so this is a combination of using Boost Ball and Spider Ball together. Oh boy. See, I just don't have the dexterity for something like that. It's actually not too hard, because Spider Ball will always activate as long as you're holding down the R button. So you don't need to time it at all, really. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so as long as you're holding down R, you will just latch on. Handy. Mhm. Mm I don't know why they make. Th there's the little timer for this, but you literally just fall down and right onto the elevator thing. Missiles. Yep. So I think we have a hundred missiles now. Excellent. The maximum is two hundred and fifty. Oh, so we've still got plenty of missile expansions to find. Mhm. Mm I love the little you open the door jingle. <laughs> you did it! <laughs> yeah, party! Okay. That's a, 
I oh, vacant. that's a hint that you've got to like collect all of those things to get to the end boss. Yeah. Yeah, the Great Poison corrupts everything, including the Chozo. I think Great Poison refers not to necessarily the poison in here, but I think it's supposed to be the Phazon that yeah. came with the meteor. So is this just like graffiti that Crazy Bird people wrote? Graffiti or prophecies? You, you, tell, you tell me. I don't know shit about this game, <laughs> but you, you're gonna have to tell me, friend. I don't know. It, it, yes, the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> This Yay. is a missile station, it just recharges your missiles. And there's only a few of them in the game. And they're not all that useful, but they exist. I can see them being handy. Yeah, but I find like, myself having usually close to full missiles in most cases. Yeah, I think it's just like if you're new at the game and you've been firing missiles at stuff. You know, what the... why, why are we fighting a black hole? Why are we fighting a hologram? So remember I told you that, um... Oh, it's a bird they ghost. Were, yeah, that their souls cannot rest. So is this what the bird people look like? Essentially. I guess this is the closest you can, you'll can you get. I mean, I'm assuming they've been, like, mutated a little bit by the poison. So these guys are really annoying to fight. Um, I can imagine, they look like teleporty ghost bosses. They are. They can only be damaged by power beam. Okay. So, as you get more and more powerful beams, you can't fight, hurt them with them. Um, charge beam works, though, but the biggest problem, and he's not doing it all that much, is that when they run away, they will break your lock and turn invisible sometimes. Oh, I could just see Samus's eyes for a sec there. That freaked me out. <laughs> oh my god, that's something from a nightmare! Yeah, because as I said, it's uh, reactions to light sources, essentially. Yeah, that's terrifying. I wasn't expecting that. That's how a lot of people's first uh, encounters with the the eyeballs kind of go. I'm, like, I'm just watching you fight this ghost and then all of a sudden just a pair of eyes on the screen. I'm like, well, okay. Yeah. So those guys are annoying, um, and the worst part is they come in, like to come in groups of three. And since we have now been in this room, they will start appearing all over the ruins. Yay! Yeah, they'll appear in that furnace room, the big tree room, um, a few of them appear in the morph ball room, I think. Yeah, they, they just, they like to start appearing now, and they're annoying. Anyway. They're just trying to say hi. That's it's Cthulhu. A, it's one of the statues. Oh no, it's not Cthulhu. No, it's not. Here's some more lore. I, I thought the, like, weird spikes on his, like, headdress thing were tentacles for some reason. So this is talking about her, about Samus and what she does. Yeah, they predict she will be here, so they leave their items and messages left so that she will be able to succeed where they were not able to. Thanks, Bird Dad. Well, I guess we didn't specifically have one Bird Dad. I guess it was many Bird Dads. She... I don't think Pretty. she was adopted into a family so much as she was adopted by the entire race. And that's Jozo Bowling. That's amazing. I want this video game. <laughs> like, not this specific video game. I mean the one where you just play Jozo Bowling. So there's some things that activated up there. Boing. I'm assuming that unlocks the window. So there's three covers here. Energy wavelength. Cold. And fire, I assume. Mm-hmm.
This is a very complex unlocking system. Yeah, it is. The word is lock, Joey. <laughs> now we get to go bowling again. Yay! Come on, get a strike. You weren't even trying. <laughs> So depending on which thing you activate, that little center structure will change and send you to different parts of the room. Okay. Use caution near this window so that you don't fall out of it. That's a good warning. Alright. This pool is, or this half pipe is full of water. This pool is full sure. of water. Yes, yes, it is. Good observation. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it could be full of like, I don't know, Mountain Dew. So we're actually right next to the room that we were trying to get to. Neat. We blew up the drainage cover. And now we got eaten by some kind of walking anglerfish. This is one of those frog things. Oh! Don't get me side on frogs. That one had to go. We actually need this one up here though, because he has to catch us in order to let us up to the top of the room. Oh! Mm-hmm. Thank you, frog friend. Died in service. We got a thing. We got a cool thing. Ooh. All right. So now we have the ice beam. Is it as useless as the ice arrows in Zelda? No. Cool. Definitely not. So, Ice Beam is actually fairly powerful. Um, I don't know exactly how powerful, maybe just under a single missile or something, but it fires slowly, like, you can hear me tapping. Yeah. And that's how fast it, uh, it fires. Also, a neat little touch, your, um... Your gun doesn't overheat when you do that because it's cold. Yeah. Another neat touch is the gun freezes when you charge it. Oh, it does. Oh, that's And it's super also cool. it's also you can see cold cold air coming out of its out of the barrel too. That's real cool. So many touches. Yeah, Ice Beam is a pretty fun weapon. Um, unfortunately, it, it works best, obviously, on, like, slow enemies. But it does have the ability to freeze some of them in place. So let's see. The next thing we should do... I'm trying to remember what the game wants you to do next. I hmm. think we need to make our way back towards the snow place again. Okay. And I'm trying to think what's the best way to do that. I think it's through this hole here. Because there's nothing really else that we need to do in here right now. Yeah, we've been through everywhere. Oh look, yeah, there's no. that little blue corridor over there. Uh, we'll go there later. Okay. Because there's an item, another... Like, I'm trying to be efficient about it. There's some items in that area that we can't get right now. So I might as well wait. Since it yeah, is just like sense. a little... Yeah, it's just a little dead end over there. So this is leading us back to the overworld, to the jungle. <clears throat> hey, Samus. Yep. 
I do love the boobs. I don't know why, it's very soothing. <laughs> Time for some fat beat. Yeah, the music here has actually changed at this point. Um, it's no longer like a sort of light ambient or whatever. It's this. I don't really know what to classify this as. It's like proto dubstep. Yeah, I, maybe. Yeah, this is what all dubstep is based on, this area of Metroid Prime. We discovered a music fact. You bet. So we've actually come out in the crash site. Our ship is just oh. right here. That wasn't there before, was it? So if you freeze an enemy successfully and shoot a missile, they will shatter. That's rude. Makes space yeah. pirates really easy to deal with. Have you ever seen anybody do that with like liquid nitrogen though? Just like dip something into it and then oh, smash yeah, I've, it? I've seen, yeah. It's like weirdly pretty. We got some injured space pirates down here. Are they injured from the crash maybe? Yes. They're like the ones that were on the ship. But yeah, they're injured from the crash. They they will still attack me though, so I have to put them down. Put them out of their misery. I'm sorry, buddies. Sam is just straight up committing war crimes here. They shot first. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. One of them did. Samus Walker and count one. So, we're not gonna go in here just yet, because this whole ship is underwater. But, we're back in the ship. Huh. Is that blue, like, flowers or phase on? I think it's just algae stuff. Things really grew fast. When you think about yeah. it. Yeah. A little bit of suspension of disbelief, but... Maybe phase on accelerates the growth of things. That's why We'll go with that, people. because it, I think it does. Legit. Inference. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> So there's a missile up there, but I can't really get it right now. The fish have heat signatures because they are living. Well, yeah. They're probably. They still haven't cleaned this the... up. <sighs> Messy space pirate. Oh yeah, and the uh, the ice beam has a different temperature that is actually noticeable. Oh. Again, little details. I'm curious, actually. What does the um, next time we see some, even if it isn't back there, I wonder what the uh, thermal visor says about the phase on. I was actually looking at it there. The one that's sitting right there doesn't give off a signature, um, because I was looking to show it. Because it, it can. Yep. <laughs> what? Uh, it's okay. I'm good. But yeah, no. Um, Phazon looks weird in Thermal Visor. Um. Do you want to call it there? Because my nephews are here and it's getting quite loud in my house. I don't want to show up on the audio. Alright. Uh, unless you want to just quickly go to the, uh, to drop off the artifact okay. instead of going anywhere else. We'll yeah, drop sure. it off, get some, get some hints, and we'll call it then. Okay. I'm sorry for adding work for you. Hmm. So we'll 
just do this, and it's, yeah. We're at about an hour anyway. Yeah. I can't decide if, like, the, the drums in this is, like, actually drums or just Samus' feet on the walkway. <laughs> Music is actually all piped through her her helmet's headphones. You see, I didn't know whether to believe you for a second there. <laughs> like I believed, like with my in, my whole being for a full second that yeah, that that's actually believable. Sure, why not? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, okay. The whole game soundtrack is just Samus's music collection. All right, so we return to this one, and uh, okay. now we can get some hints if we hadn't got them already. I think we did. Yeah. Perfect. We... This was useless. Ugh. That's okay. <laughs> yep. Thank you for joining us for Metroid Prime. We will uh, see you guys later, I guess. <laughs> As Samus crashes note. into a door. <laughs>